Hello there, Sagittarius. Welcome. This is going to be a timeless reading for you guys. What do you need to know here? Okay, so we're going to start off with, think of three yes or no questions you want answered. The end of the reading, I will turn over the cards. We're going to put them out first so I don't forget to do them. Because once I start channeling energy, sometimes I'll forget. So let's see here. The first card. Look down. Okay. And here's another one. And then the bottom of the deck will be the third. Okay, so now let's start with your reading. What's going on for Sagittarius? What is happening here? Okay, this is the child. This is lilies. Or lily, lilies. Mountains. I don't know why I'm going ahead here. Okay, I'm going to just put them down since I started. Then we have the dog. And this is the heart. And we have the mice. Okay. So, with the child, there's some new beginning here for you. It could be something to do with a child. Uh, but new start, beginning, innocent. Could also be immaturity. It's weird that we have immaturity and then we have maturity next to it. So you might be dealing, so it might be an obstacle with someone that someone's immature and someone's very mature. Could be a dis difference in age here. Very young and this is older, wiser. So, um, yeah, with the lily, this is purity, simplicity, sensuality, sex, um, virtue, morality, ethics. An older person that's wise. Or an older person, or, or someone being wise. Either or. Then we have the mountains, which is obstacle, challenges, diversion. Might be some kind of block here. There might be a blockage between you and someone older or you or someone younger. But we do have someone that's very faithful. This is faithful, loyal, um, a close companion, someone that you could trust unconditional love and we also have I like it coming in here with the heart here the heart is love romance forgiveness reconciliation it's a relationship it's a union but we do have the mice the mice I'm not too happy about this is lost theft stress damage costly repairs okay so let's see what's going on here why is the child card here for you Oh, holiday. Okay. So there's some kind of, um, something happy in the family here. Ten of Cups, a lot of happiness. Okay. Could be with someone younger. Or it could be a new beginning that brings in some happiness here for you. Within the family. It could be a new start. A new relationship. So we have here. But it's cloudy. You're not seeing something. Here's the clouds. Something might be hidden or um, this confusion, uncertainty. Clouded judgment also could be changed, but it could be a loss of direction. Okay. Now with the lily, why is this here? This is experience. So five of cups. Okay, I'm going with that wiser, older, um, someone more experienced energy here. See, why do we have this card here? Ah, because there's going to be a change. Definitely change here. We have the stork. So, with the stork bringing on the change, this is a birth, return, delivery. You might be getting a, a delivery that changes things. But there's something... You're moving on, starting over, starting again. I mean, this could be a baby, too. We have the child, and we have, you know, I'm first, and I'm getting this for one person only, probably, is someone is having, finding out they're pregnant at a um, later date in life here. They're older, and they're finding out they're, this is going to change everything. They're confused. They don't know what to do about this. Not going to be for, you know, a lot of people, of course, but I, I was told to say that, so I am. Now let's see, what about the mountains? Okay, so we have favor here. So with this card here, it 
someone has okay you know what's good about this is whatever these blockages are someone has some intense passion to get through the blockages they're not gonna let this hold them back they might be challenges but they're determined to do whatever they need to do here okay let's see Ah, see, we have the dog again. Loyalty, companionship. Someone is determined. I almost feel like someone is determined to help you. That you might have blockages and you might, you might see this person coming in or they're ready in your life at this time. And they're saying, no, we're going to get through this. You're going to be able to do this. I'm, I'm not going to. This is not going to be. This is going to have to happen here. I feel like you have a really good friend or someone around you that you can really trust. That you can really count on here. Okay. Now, for the dog here. Why is that here? Okay. So we have eight here. Eight of Pentacles. To me, the eight of Pentacles is work. So someone you might have someone that you could really trust that you work with here. Someone you could depend on. Someone that is you work well together. Okay. And they're very protective over you. A very strong protection energy. Could be someone in authority too, or in power. But or you're in power, but there's someone that I know, I feel like someone is trying to help you out with something here and very protective. Now we have the heart. Why is a heart here? Okay, so we have here the three of wands so this is labor this is work yeah there's there's something that someone has uh, but they have a oh, you've been waiting for this this new person if you've been waiting for a new love it's coming in now and you've been yeah there's something you've been waiting for is coming in and we do have with the heart that's love romance relationship forgiveness reconciliation for some of you it might be a reconciliation but for some of you it's brand new love here okay let's see and we have here at the crossroads here. Trying to decide which way to go. You might have a choice between two with the crossroads. Choice between two, a decision, options. Okay. Now why do we have the mice here? Why are the mice here? So we have here, see, someone wants something that you have. Here's a theft card. It says, Ten of Pentacles to me is always um, money coming in. and But I'm putting it with the mice, and I'm going to take this here at the theft. So someone is trying. You might be making money here, and someone's trying. Yeah, there's a snake here. Ooh, there's someone you cannot trust. There's an energy around you. I think this person's being knows of this energy trying to come in, trying to cause havoc with you, and they're protecting you. Because with the snake, this is um, betrayal, deception, jealousy, envy, desire, uh, deceit, lies, destructs. So I think someone's protecting you. That let's do another roll. Ooh, we have the clover. See, for this one energy here and having some obstacles over here is really not a bad reading. We have the lady and we have the tower. And then bottom we have, okay, you're cutting something out here. Definitely cutting something out. I think it's this person here realizing that you might have gave them a lot of chances too. Almost like giving them the benefit of the doubt. But two and three equals five. That's change anyway. So the clover, here's a lucky period. Something coming in. With the clover, it's a little bit of luck, a small gain, a success here. Um, it could be a chance meeting, taking a chance, a reward coming in for you. Let's see. Yeah, treasure. So there's something coming in here. We have the Six of Pentacles. There's a treasure coming in. Something You're going to gain some money or gain something here. Of course, this person coming in, that's a treasure. And we have, okay, this is the tarot reader here. So, some of you might be a reader or you might be, this might, this is telling your fortune though. This is coming in for you. I like it. 
What about the lady? Now for the lady is the woman, the female, the feminine energy, intuitive form. See, so you might be you might be getting you might be making money doing this too, doing readings. Okay, let's see. We have social life, eight of cups. You might be walking away from something to something much better here, the eight of cups, let's see. And we have here, this is, we have the child again. Doing something new. You're walking away from something to do something new here. Something brand new, something different. Now we have the tower. The tower is institution, government, authority, border, boundaries, being single. Let's see. And then we have, this is the, um, okay, you might be getting watched here. We have the, this is the page of swords here. People might be watching your work. You might be getting attention here. Or someone might be watching you. Also be learning something new here with the page of swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Oh, my first time. My first and only, I guess. Oh, wise. Learning something new here. And... You might be going on a journey. Okay, let's see what we have on the bottom here now. Okay, so we have here. Yeah, you might be starting something on your own, going on a journey with the ship, travel, adventure. You might also be um, going to foreign lands or meeting someone that's foreign. Okay, we do have the Three of Pentacles. It says savings here. Like teamwork, you know, working together. Something that's more stable because you're cutting out what is not stable here. So there is something kind of new change coming in that almost feels like it's, if it's not, if it's not change, there's some kind of, I definitely feels very strong change, especially with this door card here. And moving on to something better here. You have the experience. You have the knowledge. You might have started something. Also for some of you, I feel like you started something new and you're um, a little confused about what to do about something here we do have the, the ten of cups it could be something to do with the family but you're you learned by something here and you're going on and someone's helping you whatever was confusing to you whatever was blocking you to move on you have a really good friend here and this friend is also protecting you of this energy because i think you are doing well i think someone's a little jealous here they want what you have. They don't want to work for what they, they get. They want to take it from someone else. I know someone like that. It's like this person likes what someone else is doing. Automatically, they, they think they could just do what they're doing. It's like you don't do that. You have to. A lot of times you have to learn things in order to do something. You can't just say, oh, I like what you're doing. I'm going to do it. And that's what this person does. It's really bizarre. <laughs> but anyway, um, so you're cutting something out here. And it's going to bring in something of stability. Maybe working with someone else could be a new bit on uh, new job, but things are going to fall into place. You have a very lucky period here, and also um, your intuition is strong. So pay attention to your intuition. Now well, let me. This is um, page of swords. Okay, let's do the word on the page of swords. What's the word? We have. Breakup, the end, together. Okay, so this might be someone watching because you were with them before. They want to come back. So uh, that might be your choice. You have a choice of someone new, maybe someone from the past. And break up, the end, together. So you might end some. Now, this is not going to be for everyone. Some of you might return to someone in the past. You might be something that comes back together. It's weird how we have the tower there, though. It's almost like, um, it might be that you work together with this person. Because it's like, the, with the government, authority. But you did put, yeah, I think you put up this, I'm thinking mostly with this tower, is you put up your boundaries, and they couldn't, they were trying to figure out how to, how to, uh, how to get to see what's going on with you. So maybe they had to travel to you. Because we do have the ship. And maybe they took a risk. 
but they're also speculating because they didn't know because of boundaries what was going on but you might end up returning with this person there's something wise about this and it's not going to be for everyone someone others are brand new loves coming in and you're going to choose that okay guys so now let's see what signs we're dealing with what are the signs these over Leo Cancer Cancer Virgo Sagittarius and Gemini okay so this could be placement your chart placement other people's charts past present and future now let's see what letters we have we're going to do 11 letters for initials first name last name if you get both the first and last name someone has a middle name get that initial also all the better past present future also your own initials we have f t e q g n p b o x z I see a box in there. Okay. So the letters we have for you today are F T E Q G N P B O X Z. Now for the names. What are the names? So the names we have, Dira, D-H-I-R-A-J, Alicia, A-L-I-C-I-A, -I -I Eli, E-L-E-I-G-H, Valerie, Nat, Albert, Phoebe, P-H-O-E-B-E, -E, Laura, Stacy, Conrad with a K and Callie C-A-L-L-I-E okay ah, I love it we got 11 okay so those are the names now for your answer to your first question question number one we have yes the Sun and whatever this is that you're looking for it's gonna make you very happy okay Leo energy okay now let's see second one we have the wheel of fortune yes Divine timing, destiny. This is going to come into play for you. Now, the third one we have the higher event. Maybe. So, if you really want something, start writing your positive affirmations that you already have it. Remember to always write affirmations in the past or future tense. I'm, I'm sorry. Scratch that. Past or present tense. Never in the future tense. Because if you write something like, I am going to something. You're always going to be waiting because you're always going to. So in the future, no, because then it'll always be in the future. In the future, I want my brand new house or something. No, it'll always be in the future. So always write things, affirmations like you already have it. You got to fake it till you make it. We create our own reality. So what you um, what you write down or what you say, will come. you manifest it. So always write it past or present tense, never future tense. All right, guys. Um, so remember, these are general readings, not personal readings. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please leave comments. I love to read your comments. Please let me know if it resonates. If it does not resonate, check your other placements. Go ahead and check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all you like, share, subscribe, and comments. I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much. 